how have the seven or eight of us grown over the years? Well, that's an obvious opening for a fat joke. And we're obviously all fatter. What would I say to myself from 10 years ago? You don't need to pay your friends so much. That's the, first, that's the first thing. Where would I be now if I told Bernie to fuck off 10 years ago? Well, I have told Bernie to fuck off multiple times, but I'm still here. Probably porn. At the time I quit, the call center had about 200 employees. Now they have something like 1,100. So I can't imagine ele managing 1,100 kids who are working purely for beer money. That would, it would probably, I'd probably, I'd look like Obama at this point. I'd just be old and gray. It's just been crazy to be involved with something that has grown this big and has lasted this long. I mean, 10 years is a full decade. Remember, it was supposed to be six episodes. And the fact that we're still making it 10 years later is, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of it's hard to fathom. It, it covers a lot of time. And even for the people who watch it, it covers a major portion of their lives. I mean, we're old guys. The people who watch it tend to be a lot younger than we are. There's a lot of people that don't remember when RVD and Rooster Teeth weren't a part of their lives. I mean, just the sheer amount of people who met because of the show or because of the community site and then fell in love and got married and then had kids, it is hard to fathom the fact that there are people in the world that now exist because this show was made on the internet. I've asked my lawyers, I'm pretty sure we can get about 10% of their income for life. What's my favorite moment in the last 10 years? The part where I slept for like two hours. <laughs> That's all I got. That's a real tough question. There's been a lot of fun stuff. If I, if I really had to, to sort of break it down, it would probably be during one of the RTXs, either the last RTX that we had or the one before that where it was just fun, fun, fun the whole time. But it's, so it's sort of hard to find that one moment where it's like, this, this, I'm it. This is the AP phenomenon of like happiness. Going to Scotland with Joel and Bernie for a week and uh, literally just sitting in bars and drinking whiskey 12 hours a day was really relaxing, and hot dogs. If you ever get a chance, go to Edinburgh, they have the best hot dogs in the world. I don't know why, their pizza's terrible. Uh, Gus and I went to Chicago, and it was a great convention. It was just a lot of fun people, but it happened to be right when the World Series was going to be airing in Chicago. And I mentioned, briefly mentioned to Gus how, you know, going to a World Series is like a bucket list for me. I would love to be able to go. And about two hours later, he comes up to me and he says, we're going to the World Series. And I'm like, how did you do this? It was absolutely a surreal moment. Yeah, I don't know, they, it all kind of, they all kind of blend together. There's been, I don't know, a hundred of them at this point, maybe. I mean, when you look back over 10 years, there's, there's high moments and there's always low moments too. Um, but one of the, it's, I don't know if I call this a low moment or not in particular, uh, um, but my, my mom died about six months before I started Red vs. Blue, before I ever put up the first episode. And so it's really interesting to me that my mother never got to see even the start of what essentially I consider to be the story of my life, of like starting Rooster Teeth and growing this thing and being part of the rise of video on the internet. Um, you know, I was a guy who had a good job. I had a you know, good job, I worked at a tech support company. But it's like, it's just the timing of it to me is so interesting. Like she just, she just, like red versus blue, it's hard to imagine my life without those words in it, you know? Or rooster teeth, it's just hard to, for me to imagine that. But I, I grew up and my mother raised me and then passed away before we even knew what those words meant. So to me that's really interesting. It's a, it's, 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 it's a little bizarre. When we had the first RTX, we had a Friday night mixer to start off the event. We didn't know what we were getting into. We hadn't been a community event like that where we had that number of attendees and fans and friends and family members and everybody. And when we walked into the ballroom where it was being held, it was, it was overpowering. That was a good moment. Do you have any general thoughts about the last 10 years? <sighs> no. Where, where? Uh, really, thank you to the fans. You're uh, what makes everything happen. And without you, none of this would exist. I am incredibly thankful. We are incredibly thankful. Thank you. I've always felt like I'm the mother of the site. 
And I think the most value that I've actually contributed is the compassion and the interaction with the fans. And that, beyond anything, means the most to me. I think about sometimes, you know, when you're a kid and adults ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Or what is it you want to do? And I think back to the, the thoughts and the ideas I had as a kid. And if me today went back and talked to like 10 year old me and was like, okay, listen, there's going to be this thing called the internet. You're going to make videos using video games and that's going to be your job. I'd have been like, what the hell are you talking about? It's really, really bizarre. And it's really been uh, an awesome experience. You know, it's been a, a crazy, ride and a really fun job. I, don't, I can't think of too many other jobs where I get to wake up every day and either make a silly voice for a couple hours in a sound booth or grab a camera and run around and photograph somebody doing some stunt that will probably get them killed. Or it's a pretty good job. It's been absolutely a joy to have a job where you show up and it's almost guaranteed that at some point during that day, you're gonna laugh your ass off. I was fortunate enough to have, I had a career before this one to where I know how special that is. This has been a dream come true, and the fact that I get to hang, wake up every day and go to a building and work with the coolest people on the planet, and that I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to call friends, is an absolute joy. I, I don't know how else to say it. I really don't want to get sappy, but um, I can't imagine uh, a life that could be more beneficial or rewarding or fun than, than the one that I've been given. Yeah.